and uh, we are playing Adventure Skip Mysteries uh, Haunted Hunt Chapter 1 so let's begin so the story takes uh, place in uh, 19, uh, 18, uh, 1865 in uh, Victorian London and uh, we play as a supernatural creature who have uh, an ability to uh, shapeshift so mm, I can uh, change uh, my instance if I touch a another creature and so uh, I uh, got caught into the cage and now I need to find uh, a way to escape uh, from here and uh, rescue myself okay so let's begin and here's the raven so I can shape shift to it if I uh, touch the raven so first uh, my task is to attract the raven so let's take the empty cup uh, knock a bit on the fence and then I use something to uh, attract the bird first with this na wet napkin you can wipe the floor and here's the hint on the floor so we can see that uh, the starting position is uh, the heart and then moving uh, through these uh, lines we have the second is for the sun the next uh, road leads us to the eye and from eye we can uh, go to the uh, moon so heart sun eye and moon heart sun I and moon is the code to open the box get the bread and uh, feed the, the raven to be able to touch it now I've got an ability to save shape shift to the raven and uh, here's a, a button to uh, switch positions okay so let's um, begin First, here we can take the poker. With this poker, I can uh, reach the box from the top of these uh, shelves and get the first uh, skull. Uh, then, uh, here we can uh, move the curtains but uh, do nothing else from this shape. And uh, in the shape of the ribbon, uh, we can uh, cut the rope to lift the mirror and also remove. Uh, we can remove the lid from the raven but we can remove it from the from the human being and then from the raven also here we can take a net and uh, get the shell from the aquarium with the mermaid uh, then here's a letter opener and also uh, from the instance of uh, the raven uh, we can look uh, at this picture and talk to another raven so now we can access this uh, picture but uh, the this uh, label is scratched and uh, going okay going backward uh, what else uh, now with the slater opener we can open we can cut uh, this curtain and then let's solve this uh, puzzles of uh, puzzle of butterflies so we need to rearrange these uh, butterfly wings according to the um, their food chain and you can see uh, that the green is the king on the uh, it's on the top of the food chain so we can place it on the top then here you can see that blue it's uh, pink and pink it's uh, yellow so let's arrange them like that and further uh, red and uh, orange don't uh, eat each other and uh, red and yellow also don't uh, don't eat each other so we can't place red here but we can't place it here and uh, there so that's done we've got the butterfly then if we take the mirror and put it here on the stand we can see that some of this tip uh, doesn't reflect in the uh, mirror so it gives a hint that this tip uh, belong uh, belong to the vampire and we need to mark all of them here on the shelf so we have one two we don't have them re reflections and uh, three 
so we've got the vampire tf and uh, what else do we have uh, so we need to place all of these items here for items on the table and uh, also we can find the hint how to arrange them so we have uh, a skull a butterfly mermaid and a vampire so let's uh, arrange them here like we need uh, that's done and we've got uh, a potion here and that we can uh, wet the cloth with this uh, uh, with this liquid and use it to get the text from this label so it's the code uh, 1841 and it's the code to open the first door and escape 1841 so if this video helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe and go into play next chapter and uh, we are playing adventure escape mysteries uh, haunted hunt chapter 2 by hiker games let's start so Moira mo moved uh, to the next room and uh, here we are also to solve puzzles and uh, escape from here uh, first of all let's look at these uh, books uh, we can see the uh, books are of have shapes of different countries and uh, some has a different number of lines so first is for the shape of Great Britain two lines for the shape of uh, Egypt Egypt uh, three lines for the shape of France four it's it's a sp uh, shape of Spain and uh, five lines for the shape of Italy so transform them into the raven we need to use the same sequence here so first is uh, Great Britain Egy Egypt uh, France Spain and Italy and we have uh, opened the secret passage also one more time let's return to the shape of the uh, raven and collect items here and one more item is behind this uh, picture and also a sparkle and then now let's uh, go to this room and I look for the items here here's the broken glass here's the pendulum one more sparkle to take here's one more candle on the table here's an Ouija board Ouija board so transforming into the raven one more time and here in this uh, beneath this clothes we can find more items candle this rod now moving uh, these dresses so here we can take one more candle and in this uh, drawers we can get another candle and uh, nothing here so okay let's uh, go backward so we have all the six candles and uh, on the this picture we can see how to make the composition on the table so first let's place all these uh, six candles into the candle holders then this uh, phases of the moon we can see that they look like that and we need to transform to the raven and uh, make the same uh, shifts here like that so now this small light is uh, correct position uh, then and then we have a broken glass so we can fix uh, this camera and to fix it we need to rearrange these uh, items according to their distance uh, from the viewer so the farthest distance is for the raven and then goes window then goes uh, uh, curtains then lantern next to it is uh, the auto or it's uh, this woman no so then it's a cup to be placed here then we have the the items on correct positions be become sharp uh, then this blanket and it looks like uh, that 
so that's done and uh, the uh, picture of the ghost reveal on the frame and it gives us a hint to points to 20 so we will use it later but we've got one more uh, road here and uh, let's put the board put the put the pointer and also we can see these two stands and on one uh, both roads and on another stand uh, the pendulum so the picture here is mirrored to this one so we need to put all these items on the opposite positions here the hidden uh, lock is opened and this is this tinder box we need to light these candles according to the picture so from left to right but here it is from right to left one two skip and one and two so we have set up all this equipment and now we need to summon the ghost and to do it we need to uh, enter the correct date and uh, correct time of the death so the hint is here 20 it's uh, an hour and uh, here in the pocket we can find uh, a clock so the minute is uh, uh, 43 so finally we've got the time and we need to enter 20 43 okay that's done and uh, he answers uh, the Baxter so it's his name okay now he asks uh, us to move this uh, box so he can uh, go out and this box is uh, a trap so now he uh, he's got caught there and now our task is to escape from here and not to be caught into this trap so we need to transform into the raven and throw this hole move and uh, run through this uh, maze of pipes so we need to find the correct crack in the wall and move there by rotating these pipes and uh, the correct uh, crack to move is this one so these are with the traps so let's fly uh, there we can uh, rotate some pipes okay so we have finally reached the correct crack and escaped the room so uh, if this video helped you please leave likes subscribe and go into play the third chapter and we are playing adventures keep mysteries hunted hunt uh, chapter 3 by hiker games let's start so we uh, got a further uh, here we have uh, heard the sound of uh, of a dog and let's find the uh, hints here uh, first of all uh, transforming into the crow and collect items so uh, webs uh, wood chips here we can take another chips here we can take screwdriver now flying into the attic and here are some more items to collect with the wings we can get uh, rid of this uh, dust and uh, get some hidden places so nothing here just a hint that we will use a bit later this is a silver ball and we can t touch it with our uh, bare hands so supernatural can start silver and let's go to adjacent room and don't forget to take this uh, sparkle here is a hellhound puppy and we need to bring him water also collecting items here and if we transform into the crow we can get chips uh, here and there and uh, with the screwdriver we can get the screw and then use it a bit later So going back here, here's one more web to take and transforming into the crow 
we can uh, make the nest and uh, uh, tighten it with the uh, glue it with this web to make it it's kind of a bowl to collect some water also we have found a uh, salt here and um, here on the ground we can see the uh, magic barrier and to uh, it uh, we can change it with the salt so let's pour it here from the crow crawls view and we need to change it to deactivate so looking here we can see the first part of uh, this it's four circles so all in uh, vertical uh, orientations so let's set all of them like that and now for the triangles for five triangles we can find the hint in the book and that room so here how they are to be and let's change them uh, this one with triangle down square triangle down and uh, two lines so now we can open this wardrobe but to open it we have a lock so it's four corners and four symbols to set there okay transforming one more here and all around here in this room so we can find this signs so these dots are for another corners and uh, this for the top right corner is this uh, kind of a V sign then here we can see for the bottom left corner is this uh, hook okay let's uh, set them here these two signs and two more hints we can find here from the cross view so for this uh, top left corner we have two dots and for the bottom right we have another uh, angle so let's say two dots here and another corner uh, here now we have uh, here's an armor and we can take gauntlets and then with this gauntlet so we can easily take the silver ball and then uh, going down and let's uh, with this screw we can uh, fix uh, this uh, sword but it is dull we, we need to sharpen it and then here's a, a blueprints how to make the musket so we have a silver ball and now we need to rearrange this uh, blueprints to make this uh, mm, this process complete so this is the starting position fire is the end position so let's uh, rearrange them like that like that so here's the sequence is like that oh this one is uh, the clear uh, clear stick now we need to load the gun clear it and uh, fire so with this musket we can uh, shoot this uh, sink to get the cork and uh, also after we have uh, shot the uh, musket uh, here's a pin appeared on the top so this pin uh, can help us solve this uh, puzzle we need to pin these uh, nodes with different creatures and now our task is to fill um, this field with the territory of the same shape and the same area so let's begin like that then uh, the second puzzle also to make it vampires so here's just a solution and the third puzzle to solve 
here's also I will show you only the solution so that's also done and we've got the sharpener so we can take it then go in backward and uh, uh, we need something to open this uh, uh, thing so go in there and let's solve this puzzle so the cork is missing and now we need to rearrange all these uh, objects to fill the whole field so this might just uh, fits only on this position then the cross is to put something like that then this uh, bevel is here a long knife and then we have this garlic to put on this position then this potion to move here here we have to place the coin then this uh, jewelry gunpowder shamrock this cork goes here and the last shamrock goes here now we need just to place them a bit more accurate okay so that's done and we've got the it's a handle that we can use uh, to open the water now let's place the nest here fill the water and uh, give it to the thirsty dog and then uh, we need to cut this chain and to do it we have this knife we can sharpen it uh, also we can take it only with this uh, gauntlets here's this sparkle and uh, then let's uh, cut the chain and this and the finish this uh, chapter so we need to run through this drain okay so in the if this video oh through this ho hole we need to run so if this video helped you please don't forget to leave likes subscribe and uh, go into play the next chapter and uh, we are playing Adventures Keep Mysteries Haunted Hunt Chapter 4 by Heike Games. Let's start. So we are under the floor and uh, in form of the ribbon. We can uh, spread our wings to remove this dust and find the item. So here's the bell ringer. With this bell ringer we can ring that bell. Here's the sparkle and uh, call for the cat and now let's feed the cat to touch it and uh, be able to let's say shape uh, shift uh, to the cat's form okay and now let's uh, run uh, further there so here's a dark maze and we need to find the way so okay let's do it like that not here but uh, here and finally we have found an exit so uh, now we are in the auto's room so let's uh, solve puzzles, find hints, and uh, solve it. Okay, going uh, down. Oh, here we can take the ghost book. Going down there. Uh, here's another trap we can see. Let's go to that room. So what else can we see? Uh, here we can take the sparkle. And uh, here's a handle from the ch chair's leg so nothing to do here right now 
and uh, going ok yeah sorry here's the, the wheel so now we can uh, fix this uh, step attach the wheel here and use it to put the book on its uh, position so here's uh, a wheel has appeared but we need uh, to oil it to l lower the chandelier uh, next under the carpet here's a, a safe so we need to enter four digits here and the hint can be get from the uh, cat's safe shape shift so here on the statue we can see a free um, kind of fingerprints and it's statue of a spring so according to the beginning of the year we have winter then spring and here's the picture of the winter with five uh, fingerprints then goes spring with three so we need to enter these numbers here five three then goes summer and summer is uh, summer day with one fingerprint and then goes autumn autumn leaves with uh, seven fingerprints so let's enter digit seven here okay here's the sparkle to take and we've got the one of the door rings uh, next uh, from the human view we can take this cord and this cord is used to uh, break this cauldron and inside uh, there are items a brass uh, piece so this brass piece is uh, going is go here and now we need to set the correct levels so the hint uh, also can be found from the cat's view so we can see the path of the cat uh, through this uh, footprint and uh, it's uh, the first uh, let's call it location are the books so we can see five books and uh, the middle book uh, not the middle but on the, sec uh, the second position book is missing so we need to move this uh, switch here then uh, traces uh, lead us to the vases and we can see five vases and the last is, bro is broken uh, then after it we can see it's sofa and on the sofa there are five butterflies and the first is uh, scratched so we also need to make it first then these steps lead us to this uh, bed and here you can see bricks one two three four five and the second is uh, scratched and there are also five pills and the last is uh, line so we can uh, set this two and the five position to open this door get the key get one of the rings and this key is to open uh, this box inside there's a diamond ring and also key from uh, another box and next uh, with this uh, uh, with this diamond ring we can uh, break this uh, glass get the oil and oil this uh, gear to lower the chandelier and uh, on it we can find one more ring we don't need it anymore and uh, one more box we have so let's uh, move transform into the cat and uh, uh, listen for this box so we can see um, sounds uh, five four one three two let's look once again five four one three and two and the same buttons marked with this uh, cat's fingerprint cat's uh, footprint so you have five four one three and two so this box is opened and we've got one more ring so now let's place all of them here one two three four oh one more ring is missing okay let's find it and uh, where is it and it is here in the fireplace and next uh, we need to move uh, these rings so that there can be um, there there is a path from outside to uh, the center and from center to outside 
Okay, let's do it like that. the last ring to set in the position of like that so that's done and now we can uh, go to the next room so here here we are to solve for this puzzle in uh, the sketch view we can see that there are uh, different animals and uh, they can be changed for each uh, triangle these animals uh, can be divided into the uh, flying animals and uh, ground animals uh, and also these triangles can point up or down so we need to set triangles pointing up to blue it means sky and triangle pointing down uh, for the ground and also uh, set uh, matching uh, animals here for the blue up we have to set flying creatures and for the ground we have to set ground creatures so here we have found his uh, notes that it is uh, he is not what he is uh, meant to be and with this key we can finally open the door and escape and if this video helped you please leave likes subscribe and go into play next chapter and uh, we are playing adventure escape mysteries haunted hunt chapter 5 by haiku games let's start uh, so we are moving through the auto's house and the next uh, location is his parlor so uh, let's uh, transform into the cat and here we can find two missing gears but more of them to find and also here we can open this uh, lock here's the sparkle uh, so to open this lock we need to look at this hand and we can see that uh, there are four lines uh, the, and it seems that this, all these four lines are from different shapes so we need to define the shape uh, here and select it so this is the top part of the first shape the second shape is like that then the third and the fourth shape was uh, this one so we have opened this uh, wardrobe and here we can uh, take uh, matches and also the first key and then uh, let's go to the to this room Uh, here we can find a note to to do list for Baxter, and we need to do almost the same things. Also a drawer for for the Baxter, and here we can take an oil. So this oil, uh, okay, let's also transform and get the sparkle. Also with this oil, we need to light all of these lamps. So to pour the oil and then light the the lamp, the second lamp, and in this room we can find the third lamp. So we have uh, finished the second task, and uh, here we can get. Uh, we have done it in a. Uh, bad order so if we light this uh, lamp uh, we need to pour the fuel light it and we can see uh, the one green dot so it should be uh, lit uh, first then this lamp has uh, two dots so we need to light it uh, the second and uh, this lamp has three dots so we need to light it in the third order 
Okay, we've done this second task and we've got the key. Here's a watering can to take. Also here seems to be an empty uh, drawer, but if we transform into the cat, we can see the gear here. Uh, next we have a watering can, so we need to water these flowers. Let's collect water here. And uh, water these uh, flowers. So we've got one more key and also a scroll with the uh, with the contract between um, Baxter and Otto and here's the hint uh, we can find the fingerprint of uh, Baxter so this hint is to open this chest we can see all these uh, buttons clear but uh, from the cat's view we can see the fingerprints so we need to set on all these six buttons the fingerprint of the Baxter Okay, that's done. And we've got one more gear. So one more task to finish. This one done, done, done. And uh, to fix uh, the clock. So go in here. And let's uh, put all these four gears here. And next we need to assemble the this mechanic so that the colors of the gear uh, next to each other match. And uh, transforming to the cat's view, we can see the colors of another of another gear so okay here's uh, the solution how it should be solved And this one goes here and uh, another set now we need to place it like uh, that so this one go here two uh, three and uh, four okay that's done so we've got the fourth key and uh, we need to put all of them here on this uh, trap box and we can see uh, labels on the keys so we need to insert each key into the correct uh, keyhole so here we can say lamp, clock, uh, cigar and flower so it all seems to be the task for the Baxter and in the note we can get the correct order so this cabinet is for the cigars uh, this one is for the lamp, flowers and clock so let's use this order here first of all cigars, lamps flowers and uh, clocks okay so the trap uh, uh, triggered at files and uh, now we need to build uh, the timeline of uh, the auto's crime uh, so first uh, we can see that auto hires uh, then uh, Baxter, Baxter finds proof of the auto's fraud then auto fi finds uh, this proof and then he wants uh, the promise not to uh, publish it burns uh, the proof then uh, uh, he uh, scares uh, finally the cost is at the end the kill and like uh, now like uh, that okay that's done so now we can get the key and go to the next room in the auto's house and if this video helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe and uh, go into play next chapter and uh, we are playing adventures kid mysteries haunted hunt uh, chapter 6 by Heiko games let's start so finally we have came to the kitchen and uh, if you look at the cat's view we can see the ghost so the ghost pointing at the table uh, then here's the sparkle to take and uh, let's go to adjacent room 
so in the cat view we can see the numbers under the bells and if we pull the, the rope uh, near each bed so here you can see Baxter and if we pull the rope we can get the sequence of uh, the code to open this box so let's pull it and we have it is 1 2 7 4 9 1 2 7 4 and 9 okay so we can take nothing in his uh, uh, chest but you can see that uh, horse riding equipment that uh, here the Baxter was a horseman here like the uh, horse then uh, join two four six one three two four six one and uh, three uh, here you can take uh, a key and uh, also one of the shoes then for the call we have seven four five one seven seven four five one and seven and uh, here you can take uh, uh, garden spade and nothing else and for the lily we have eight six eight eight nine eight six eight eight and uh, nine so that's done and here we can take uh, a vegetable shortener and nothing else uh, then changing uh, the view here we can take also a rope and uh, let's look here nothing to take else so going out uh, here we can take the floor and uh, the ghost is pointing to the table so let's uh, pour uh, the floor here and get the hint from the ghost uh, here we can see a picture it's kind of earth with the moon and sun and uh, it's a hint for this log so we can see uh, three uh, positions and if you look at these positions we can see it's hand hand and moon so we need to set the same items here hand hand and moon uh, go into another room uh, what else do we have here here we can use the key to open uh, this cabinet and to uh, get uh, the puzzle to solve so what does here is to uh, uh, rotate the mirrors to make reflections and that all these beams move uh, through all of these uh, cells with the spiders so here's the solution and the change in the view to the cat's view so let's uh, change these mirrors like that this one is pointing up right up right down like that here Then for this row we have right, all this to point to the right, this to the left. I like that. Now for this uh, corner we have it like that. So this to point here. And uh, here we have another solution. So like that, and we've got uh, this uh, solve this box and can uh, get the range. Here's the sparkle, uh, one more ghost, and uh, 
Uh, next, let's uh, use this vegetable shortener on this uh, rusty wheel. Then tighten it with a wrench and uh, pull up uh, this elevator. So we can see there's uh, lots of bones of uh, different servants and we can collect uh, personal items. Horse shoes and uh, the rope. So next uh, let's look at these uh, stones. This kind of uh, green stones and in this view we can see uh, read their names. So we need to put something personal here and to get what item is personal we need to go again to the servants room and look. So we can see the Baxter is uh, the horseman, Cole is a gardener, John mechanical and repair kids, and uh, Lily uh, is cooking. So we can take this for the Lily. And now let's put this item, this for the Lily. Baxter is horseman, Cole is gardener, and uh, John is for this shoes. So he gave us a gear and also a hint for 7 to 7. For 7, 2 and 7. So here we can take the bottle of alcohol and put it here. And uh, now in the cat's view we can see the colors that we need to put uh, into these uh, uh, bottles. And here are the normal colors of these uh, bottles. Okay, let's start to mix. And we have uh, here it's orange, it's a mixture of red and uh, yellow. Like that. Here you can see it's uh, also red and yellow, but it is a bit darker. So now this one is a lighter, so we need to put a bit lighter component. And here we have two orange of uh, different lightness. Here you can see a dark blue, so it's common blue and uh, dark shader. And here you can see a light blue, so it's light blue and the white. Uh, then a green and gray, so gray is uh, black and white. Green is uh, yellow and the blue. And then uh, different shades of uh, pink, let's call it like that. So to get pink we need uh, to mix red and white. So this look like here. Now let's mix uh, red mix red and blue. Here we have got this uh, shape and to get this one we need to mix red, blue and the white. Okay, so we mixed all these colors and now we've got uh, this um, ammonia cleaner. So with this ammonia cleaner we can uh, clean uh, the uh, rusty wheel. But first we need to find it. So uh, let's take this uh, wheel and uh, make uh, this elevator completed. Uh, clear this wheel and go down to the next room. Then so uh, here's a surprise awaiting us. So let's go to the next chapter. And if this video helped you, don't forget to leave likes, subscribe and uh, go in further. And uh, we are playing Adventure Escape Mysteries, Haunted Hunt, Chapter 7 by Haiku Games. Let's start. So we have met the uh, Euphemia. And now that uh, she's the main bad character, so she tied the Moira. And now we need to find a way to escape. So talking to her. Now she is uh, getting closer to it and uh, finally she can use the whistle on her neck to call for the help for the dog and uh, now we need to use this uh, box trap uh, against her so to activate it we need to switch uh, this uh, uh, 
uh, fabulous cr creatures uh, into the normal on each cell so we have the sequence is like that like that and then switch one two and three so that was not right okay that was a bad attempt uh, we have sharpened a deer ghost bat and uh, angel so finally we have solved it and uh, this have uh, maybe is uh, in the box now but since uh, Moira touched her she now can transform uh, into her shape uh, here's the room without doors and we need to find the exit from here so let's uh, collect these uh, small items one two three four five six and uh, one more shield to find and here it is under the uh, chair so we need to put all of them here and the uh, horse so this puzzle we will solve a bit uh, later uh, then uh, what can we see here we can take sparkle 1 and sparkle 2 uh, if we uh, shape shift into the euphemia we can move this spectacle and get the hint so here we can see the shapes uh, six shapes star triangle uh, diamond star circle and square so the sequence of shape is the same that we need to use here but also in the shape of the Moira not Moira but the Ephemia so we have star triangle diamond star circle and uh, square to uh, activate her magic wand now with this magic wand we can do other things and uh, first is I think we can do is to open this box so while we are moving this laser beam through the cell it changes color and on another movement it changes its color to another like that and we need to find first the correct sequence we can find it uh, here on this uh, place so we also need to look you know, from this side and we have its yellow black yellow blue and uh, purple so let's do it here okay trust uh, let's erase it so moving purple blue yellow yellow blue black and yellow now that's done and here's a keyhole so we need to find the key also with this uh, laser wand we can get the hint from this uh, device so with this laser beam we can light the parts of the pictures and uh, look for it so here we are to look for the uh, swords uh, helmets horses and uh, shields and if you look uh, from left to right we can find that here it is a sword then shield then horse let's arrange them here a sword shield horse then uh, looking further here we can see uh, after the horse we can see a shield then helmet sword and the helmet a shield helmet sword and a helmet so we have opened this cabinet to get the halberd and use it to break this uh, lock okay it is broken and we've got the key to insert it here and open the secret passage to escape from this uh, room so going further to meet Otto and uh, if this video helped you please don't forget to leave likes subscribe and go into the final chapter 
and uh, we are playing Adventure Escape Mysteries Haunted Hunt Chapter 8 and uh, this is the last chapter uh, let's uh, begin so we came finally um, uh, almost to get uh, auto but first of all we need to uh, get uh, the help and this is the help are uh, the costs that he uh, slotted here we can take this uh, statue sparkle here to take uh, in the pocket we can find the diamond ring then uh, here let's look here with the eye of the euphemia and we can see nine seven and two and seven is uh, with a dot so it's kind of a, a hint so this dot means seven and uh, this uh, arrow up is uh, pointing that this number is above the the previous so it must be nine and this is uh, below it so it should be two and here we have a uh, uh, blueprint uh, how to make different uh, spells and devices and uh, a map to move through this uh, house nothing else let's go there uh, look all these shelves here we can take the flint then we can take coals and wood and with this uh, blueprint we can cast a spell so to make the flame throw we need to get coal diamond and flint and we have all of them uh, these wooden chips and uh, the gem now we need to move all these uh, chips uh, and match uh, the same colors and also then place these items in the center so they also a hint and the solution is like that okay let's uh, do it uh, we can rotate this uh, planks now that's done so small purple we have only one for the blue we have to place blue and yellow uh, for the yellow we have to place yellow and uh, red here and uh, this one go uh, here next let's make it like uh, that here green there then this uh, two-sided wire that goes on this place this here and this there so it's almost done and now we need to rearrange these items so they also have a hint this has a uh, uh, purple on both sides and we have purple here and the mixture of blue and the red also gives purple so it's a match uh, the color then uh, here we have green and the green is a mixture of yellow and blue and uh, pink is uh, is uh, red and yellow and here we have uh, green and also uh, orange so sorry we need to place it like that and like that so that's done and we've got the flame thrower so with this flame thrower we can get rid of this uh, roots get the knife get these bricks and these bricks let's also place right here we will use them uh, mostly later with this knife we can cut this uh, rope uh, tie it here to this chain and use it to break the chandelier So we've got the crystals we will also use them later now we need to go around the house and uh, rescue uh, the ghosts trapped in the boxes first of all we need to uh, destroy these uh, boxes with a flamethrower and then unlock them and to unlock we need to uh, enter these codes so these codes are hidden on the map so for this room we have uh, red laser beam and if we look through this glass 
on the map we can find that this is a science room and uh, the uh, clue is uh, circle up down down so we can see seven with circle so it means that seven is on the first position then up it means that the next n number uh, must be above uh, seven so we have red numbers here eight four and three so uh, uh, then this one is above seven so it's only eight much here then this one is below previous and this also below previous so the only correct solution is seven eight four three let's enter it here seven eight four and uh, three so we have rescued the first ghost and now we can go and save others okay let's uh, begin from this room from the cellar and for the cellar we have uh, yellow beam so go in there and first let's uh, destroy this uh, trap box and uh, also with the same uh, manner find the hint for on the map so we have yellow beam and uh, the code is down dot and three times up so with the dot we have it's a triangle it's uh, here it's free then uh, the, the first is below it so below it we have only uh, we have it's six and this one is uh, it should be one I think this one is five and the here we have uh, eight so to match, uh, to match these conditions we have it is one three and uh, then uh, five six eight one three five six and eight okay that's done the second cost released go into the kitchen also destroying the box and uh, get the code from the map so here we have a white beam so for the white we have uh, flowers and petals and uh, the code is uh, down dot and three times up and the same like it was but we have we have for the white numbers three one eight with dot we have two and uh, six here so it's two here then one then uh, here should be three three uh, six and eight so in result we have one two three six and eight one two three six and eight and it's also done and one more goes to rescue so also let's uh, destroy the box and get the hint from the map so for the blue uh, beam we have a uh, human then here the snake uh, ram so we need to count the number of legs and this one with the dot so dot means four four is for the first position then we have up and then three times down so above above four legs we have above uh, three legs we have uh, uh, for above four legs we have and with uh, six legs and the spider with eight legs so if we have six and eight so the only correct solution is four eight then uh, below it should be uh, six and then below it uh, human with two feet and snake with no feet so the answer is four eight six two zero four eight six two and zero okay so all the ghosts are in the hole uh, go in there 
Uh, what else can we do? Not ready yet. Uh, so they are here and now we need to uh, materialize them and to do it we need to light all of these candles and also we need to get uh, the boxes and the correct uh, plan how to light them so here is one more puzzle of the same type uh, to make this uh, to place this uh, these sticks according to the colors and with these free gems we have a hint so uh, for example this gem is uh, red and green and for the green we have only sticks like that and like that so starting from here we have uh, to follow here it is green uh, only one can place here then yellow and uh, to get red we have to place yellow and red here and then uh, we can place for the yellow we have here purple and uh, let's place it like uh, that and then for the others uh, here we can see it is red but this color is uh, orange so it's a mixture of uh, uh, yellow and uh, red and let's do it like that Uh, here we have done and uh, for this one we have it's also can be mixture of blue and red and let's try to do it yellow red red and the blue we have here so then we have also yellow and red and we don't have another stick possible here so let's place this one and uh, then uh, we have we can join a yellow with blue and then pl place this blue here so it's also much here and then for this gem we can also place it like that this purple go here then this one here so on uh, this side we have it is blue so it only can be uh, this solution so we need to turn it to the red and then place these two sticks on their places so the puzzle is almost done but here seems to be a glitch so we need to rotate this gem to get the correct uh, solution okay we've got these boxes now we need to place them here and uh, moving these candles we can get uh, the uh, shadows on the wall and we need to place them in correct position and the uh, hint what shadow to get we can get from this uh, blueprint if we turn into this uh, into this uh, shape so we can see it's kind of shape of an ant and it can be done uh, the following way one two three four five six seven eight and uh, nine so we have materialized uh, all these ghosts and now it's a final puzzle to uh, chase the auto and uh, escape all the uh, other uh, guests uh, we have a uh, time to a place uh, our ghosts here I like that so we need to trap them not to trap but uh, to lead them into the correct into the needed positions this one is to place here Then with the dog we can uh, guide uh, this guide uh, the auto to the corner and not to allow uh, to these other persons to go uh, out. Okay, it's like uh, that.
so uh, this way step by step we can uh, move them into the needed directions oh, and don't forget to uh, guide the auto unless he escaped so that way we are guiding them through this way so auto is in the corner he is uh, locked and it's on the left to move other persons to the door Okay, so one more person left uh, to uh, guide and let's start to trap this also not to trap but to guide we can make a, it's kind of a corridor and lead it uh, to the needed direction it is like that and so he is uh, almost at the door so we can I uh, think that the puzzle is solved and that's done so that was the last puzzle uh, watch the end of the game and if this video and if this video helped you don't forget to leave likes subscribe and bye also here's the an ending uh, here are two possible endings but they are almost uh, the same so here we are just to think do we need to burn uh, the house or not okay let's not to burn it okay let's burn it So if we choose not to burn it, uh, we, ha we will have almost the same ending. So the Euphemia will uh, jump through the window and escape. So it is a possible continue of the story. So it's like that. And uh, if the house is not burned, the ending is almost the same. So bye.